maintaining long tail engines a step by step guide for fishers tamil nadu the southernmost state of the indian union has a long coastline of about 1076 kilometers the second longest in the country a large part of this coastline has surf beaten beaches thousands of fishers operate from 591 fishing villages spread in the 13 coastal districts of the state the fishing crafts in tamil nadu comprise mechanized and motorized boats traditional catamarans and vallams in the last 10 to 15 years large number of fiberglass reinforced plastic or frp boats fitted with air cooled diesel engines driving long tail propulsion system have replaced the wooden traditional fishing crafts these motorized boats can now travel long distances in search of fish while motorization has reduced the drudgery of the small scale fishers it has also exposed them to many risks at sea crossing the surf is a hazardous exercise and the engines are exposed to breaking waves engine failures are common due to poor maintenance and care and inadequate knowledge on troubleshooting and this is a major cause of concern for safety of small scale fishers at sea this film takes you through a step by step procedure of understanding the basic features of the diesel engine the daily checklist troubleshooting and the do's and don'ts for ensuring a trouble free engine let us now go to kotiwakam a fishing hamlet south of chennai city where velu and his cohort of fishers are waiting for the service engineer to tell them more about the upkeep and troubleshooting of their diesel engine vanakkam i am happy to be here with all of you today to explain the important features of the diesel engine that you use on your boats i will also take you through the basic maintenance procedure and troubleshooting but there are some tasks that you should leave for an expert mechanic to attend first i will introduce the main parts of a diesel engine This is the fuel tank and the cap assembly and this is the fuel filter what you now see is the air filter which supplies clean air for combustion the engine oil is poured from here this is the fuel injector it is an important part of the engine what you now see is the lube oil filter assembly This dipstick is used to measure the level of oil in the engine and this is the silencer or the muffler. The first check is to ensure that there is enough diesel in the tank. Use a clean rod or stick to check the level. Fuel should always be poured using a funnel and a clean cloth filter. to prevent entry of dust particles pour fuel gently to avoid spillage and prevent sediments from entering the tank before leaving for the fishing trip you must check the level of oil in the engine using the dipstick it has two markings to show the minimum and maximum recommended levels if engine oil is close to the minimum mark oil needs to be topped up the oil level should be maintained at the maximum mark and always ensure that you use the right grade of engine oil prior to a fishing trip check all nuts and bolts including the bed bolts since they tend to loosen due to vibration tighten the check nut on the top and ensure that the lower nut is also tight do not forget to tighten all banjo fittings tight fittings will ensure that there is no diesel leakage and that all pipes are airtight if a gearbox is fitted tighten the housing bolts 
right on the air cleaner and the muffler. These parts also become loose due to engine vibrations. Finally, ensure that the fuel tank strap is tight and the engine T-rod is free to move. The T-rod is very important as it helps the engine to hinge up and down. In a choppy sea or when crossing the surf, the engines are exposed to salty spray of the surf. Therefore, at the end of the fishing trip, use a clean cloth and apply a thin film on all the metal parts. This will prevent rust formation and increase the life of the engine. Before going home, ensure that the propeller shaft turns easily. Use a split pin to lock your propeller in place once the nut has been tightened. Let us now look at the fuel system. Fuel from the tank is supplied to the fuel filter, which in turn supplies clean fuel to the fuel pump. The pump supplies fuel at high pressure to the injector. Any excess fuel is drained back to the fuel tank. This is the fuel filter. When the fuel filter nut and the bowl are unscrewed, you can see the filter element, which needs to be replaced from time to time. This will ensure that the fuel supply to the engine is clean. Always carry a spare filter to avoid engine stoppage because of a clogged filter. The filter element should be replaced in the correct manner. Check that the spring is placed properly. The filter element must be inserted in the right fashion with the black disc on top. While tightening the filter body, ensure that the O-ring is not damaged and is placed properly. To do this, slightly rotate the bowl to ensure proper seating and finally tighten the nut. To remove airlock on the fuel system, unscrew the air bleeding screw till you get a continuous flow of diesel. Lastly, we come to the do's and don'ts. You must always use clean fuel from a clean container. Carry the right tools every time you go on a fishing trip. Make sure that the tea rod is well greased and moves freely in its housing. Always apply a clean film of lube oil onto metal parts to provide protection against corrosion. Never tamper with the factory settings. Do not break the seals. These sealed units are to be handled only by trained mechanics. Never use a chisel and a hammer to tighten the engine foundation bolts. Use the right spanner. Do not use the decompression lever to stop the engine. Do keep the cylinder and head fins clean to avoid overheating. Always use a split pin to lock your propeller nut after it is properly tightened. Always carry essential spare parts. And never work on an engine when it is running. Do carry a sail with you. It helps when the engine fails. Now let us recap what I have told you. Follow the daily checklist. Use clean fuel. Carry the required tools and spares. Do not neglect periodic maintenance. Protect your engine from the elements. Always carry a sail. I can assure you that if you follow these steps, the fishing trips will be smooth and travel free. Safe fishing, safe return. Welcome.